foods on my skin and that is oils. I like a variety of oils and that is because I personally have dry skin, especially this time of the year. My skin tend to just basically dry out. So I just use oils in on everything. My hands, my knees, my elbows, my hair, my lips. I'm just using oil all over. However, there are certain types of oil that are better to use on the skin. Now, if you're new here, a warm welcome to you. We have a variety of oils on alexmaxi.com. And for those of you who are not aware, we do DIY and this channel, and we have been using oils for over seven years. We've been using a variety of oils. So what better thing to do than to have our own oil collection? The Gigi Beauty oil collection contain 10 oils. One is a special oils and the other is just a plain oils that we use in our DIY every day, basically daily. So what we're going to do for you tonight, since I noticed that most people are more interested in the oils at this time of the year, we're going to share some oils with you that are hydrating, that help to smooth the skin, that help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, that help to keep your hands, your feet, your knees, your elbows really soft and hydrated. So you can find all the Chichi Beauty oils on our website and that is alexmaxi.com. Now let me hear from you. What is your favorite oil to use on the skin? Go ahead and comment, comment, comment. And I also like to make a good anti-aging oil blend. So for those of you who are interested in that, probably sometime next year, I might have my own oil blend coming out. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, try our oils. We have a variety of oils. We have oils such as the papaya oil, which is a papaya seed oil. We have the rose seed oil. We also have apricot oil. We also have pomegranate seed oil. We have some coconut oil, which is one of our number one selling oil, believe it or not, the coconut oil. And I'm going to tell you why. And then we have some grapeseed oil. If you out there and you have oily skin, this is the oil for you, the grapeseed oil. And then we have our aloe vera oil and we also have some essential oils such as the rosemary oil and the tea tree oil and we also have the star anise oil so we're going to talk about these oils and how to use them on the skin so comment and let me hear from you which is your favorite oil no wonder like the aloe vera oil hi jill welcome to the live show so start commenting guys and let me hear which is your favorite oil just curious to know which oil you use the most sr use the rose oil seed oil the pomegranate and the merengue oil so for those of you who do not know what merengue is it have and i did a video years ago talking all about merengue i don't know if you all remember that video but i'm gonna try to pull it up See if I could find it and share it with you. It's amazing for the skin and it is also great for the guts. You know, there's a lot of claims out there when it comes on to the merengue oil. I do not have that in our collection. However, if you can, it's always available like an Amazon. So definitely check that out. Keep it. And let me tell you how many um, ounces, 3.38 ounces in these. And these are all organic oil, all organic oil, all a special oil that you can use directly on the skin. The only oils that we do not suggest you use directly on the skin is essential oils. Some people tend to use essential oils on the skin, but no, essential oils need to be diluted with a carrier oil. So let's say you get our tea tree oil at home and also our rosemary and our star anise oil definitely use a carrier oil what are carrier oils carrier oils are oils such as coconut oil such as a grapeseed oil and even your apricot oil can be used as a carrier oil to dilute other oils on the skin if you have hyperpigmentation on the skin if you have a lot of blackheads and whiteheads if you break out a lot a good oil to use is the tea tree oil 
everyone should have at least a bottle of tea tree oil in their home. And I'm going to tell you some other things that you can use this tea tree oil for. It's very handy in the bathroom, good for the skin, and good to use otherwise in your home. So we're going to talk about that. Never use the tea tree oil directly on the skin. Always use your tea tree oil with a carrier oil. Cara Cara, what about castor oil with coconut oil? I'm telling you, I'm a little biased when it comes on to castor oil. I love me a Jamaican black castor oil. And I used Jamaican black castor oil on my channel for years. We did not get the black castor oil in our collection because i'm very particular about the grade and the quality of the oils that i do put in this collection since these oils are like our foundation oil but if you have that castor oil out there go ahead and mix that castor oil with some good old coconut oil and use it as an ear oil i'm going to give you a little tip right here if you find that your hair is thinning out itching you a lot guess what grab that castor oil put a little bit of a coconut oil in it and reach for the rosemary oil which is an essential oil so you're only gonna add a little bit of the rosemary essential oil you're gonna mix that up and you're gonna use that on your scalp another thing that you can do with a little bit of a castor oil a little bit of a coconut oil a little bit of a rosemary oil is to put it in your favorite shampoo and you're gonna put it in your hair and once it is in you wash it with the the shampoo in it now if you want a deep treatment you can mix that in your conditioner put a cap on leave it on and that is going to take care of your hair a rego grow balls spot help with thinning hair help with dandruff and that also is great for the entire family if you have like the young kids with the hair that you can you know it take it's take like a, a special kind of brush to straighten it out go ahead and mix up that castor oil with that coconut oil and a little rosemary and drag it a true another thing that you can do for hair growth is to try the chicha beauty black rice shampoo and conditioner which i will have beside me tonight since it's oils that we're talking about but if you are looking for hair products here grow those are the oils that you use in your hair the coconut the castor oil which we don't have on our channel but you could get it and mix it with the coconut oil coconut oil and rosemary oil with a little castor oil will have your hair to look good feel good and also regrow those bald spots and also the edging you know like the young people they tend to have edge issues because you know, when you wear a wig and you wear a wig a lot, uh, especially if you install the wig because of that glue that they put on, then that could also thin out your hair. And that's how you come up with all those hedges that need to take care of. I hope you make a mixture next year. I love the DIY you post that use only along with a few other oil. My skin absolutely respond to it. And um, thank you for this comment yes i'm definitely getting my oil together because you guys know that i love a good oil blend a good oil blend that you can use from your face all the way down to your toes and it doesn't matter what kind of a moisturizer that you are using it's always good to add a drop of oil now years ago i normally come on and i normally tell you that when you buy a moisturizer out there let's say you get a collagen cream now the base is also oils but when you get that collagen cream it is made in bulk Okay, it's made in bulk. So when you use that, let's say the collagen cream at home, why not grab one of your special oil, let's say the papaya oil, which is also rich in a vitamin A, and take just one drop, one drop and lay it over your special cream. One drop goes a long way. You do not need a lot of oil. Don't overuse the oils, okay? And you take that one drop and then you warm it. I like to warm my oils. It doesn't matter what kind of oil I'm using, whether it's first press, cold press. I don't know. I just like to rub it in my hands like this. And then I just press it on my face. Most of the time people are like, oh, I do not want to use oils on my skin because it clogged my pores. 
Oil will clog your pores when you're using too much. And also it will clog your pores if you're not cleansing your skin the way you should. Cleansing the skin is a vital when you're using oil. And it doesn't matter if you have dry skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, a combination skin, you can use oil. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story about essential oils. Now, there's a lot of people that do not know how to use essential oils. And I didn't know that until I really start, you know, this oil collection. And what they would do, they would get, for instance, the Chichi Beauty Star Anise Oil. Do you have some people that run into issues with the Star Anise Oil because they're so excited about getting the oil that they just go ahead and put it right on their face, directly on the face. Now, for those people that have been watching my channel for years and years and years, you know I'm always be like, always, always, take that star anise and mix it with a carrier oil it is not to use by itself it's a good oil for skin tightening but it needs to be mixed with other oils personally for me i like a little bit of the aloe vera oil a little bit of the coconut oil a few drops of the rose seed oil with one to two drops of that star anise oil that is an oil blend that oh it's so good for the skin the face the neck and the decollete and i like to use that to massage my skin like not only my face but all over my body it's a good skin tightening wrinkle remover oil blend that you can use if you're out there and you're exp you know you're indulging in the chichi beauty oil collection as i know a lot of you are make sure to do a good oil blend so for those of you like who purchase like the five piece set which is i think it's like 117 dollars for our five piece set where you get five of our top oils that's the entire five oil can make a oil a blend a perfect anti-aging oil blend and that is the reason why we sell it like that so if you're interested in that you can get it and don't make an oil blend i have a lot of products that i use and yes i have access to more products than uh, the average person however i still use my oils because i just cannot get enough of these oils on my skin so this is the five piece collection that i was telling you about as a matter of fact we're going to be pulling this five piece collection probably in the next two weeks or so we're going to pull the five piece collection because we are running out of some oil that we are still not um we're in the product process of restocking but it's a, we're very limited we're very limited on rose seed oil we're very limited on papaya seed oil we are also very very limited on apricot oil so we will definitely pull this um within the next a few weeks i'm not even sure if we can do 10 of these i doubt we can do 10 of this set so if you're interested in this set is a good time to get it what you're getting is the apricot oil the rose seed oil the star anise essential oil the um, pomegranate seed oil and the papaya oil so this is as i said is a a sold out because we do not have enough and once we're sold out of this five piece set you know we're also going to be sold out of the apricot we're going to be sold out of the papaya and we're going to also be sold out of the rose seed oil which we won't get back within the next three months or so so if you want to get um your hands on this five piece is the perfect time to get it it's already this how many hi jackie mom how many skincare products that you have you need some oils and for those of you who know how we use oil on this channel page will know what we're talking about so let's talk about uh carrier oils that we have we have the coconut oil now if you watch our Oh, um, channel for years and years and years, you'd have known that we use a lot of coconut oil. And this oil means a lot to me, okay? The coconut oil means a lot to me. I grew up around coconut oil. And one of my first videos that went viral was me using coconut oil. So I was using coconut oil and baking soda mixed together as a facial scrub. Today, I still love that facial scrub.
I still love that facial scrub. And the only reason why you do not see us having the coconut oil and the baking soda as a facial scrub on our website is because, you know, we get a, a feedback. Some people are totally against using the baking soda on the skin. I don't mind using it on my skin. I like it. I even put a little bit of the baking soda in my green tea facial mask to get that, you know, um, not mask, but my 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 green tea um, facial polish to get that little grit on it. And I'm telling you, definitely, definitely try it though. Coconut has become a staple on this page. A staple because it takes us to where we are today. So we put it in our collection and even though you could find coconut oil everywhere, we still didn't know that it was going to be one of our top selling oil. And our coconut oil is edible, okay? It's an organic coconut oil. You know, we got to get the best of the best. And as you know, I always mention that I grew up using the best of the best, which is natural coconut oil that they just go to the bushes. They grab those coconut, the dry ones, they break them, they grate them. And, you know, they put it away, a little scoop off that cream and make that oil, which is pure organic oil. So that is what I bring to you with the coconut oil. Now, who need coconut oil? I have some people talking about, um, you know, coconut oil clog my pores, da 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 Coconut oil do not clog your pores if you take care of your skin the way you should. If you do not exfoliate that skin and cleanse that skin thoroughly, yes, because it is a humectant, okay? Coconut oil is a humectant. It helps to lock the moisture in the skin. And that is why when you use it on your knees, on your elbows, that is why it, within a week, you notice all that dry, cracked ears um, disappear because it prevent the water from escaping from the skin. And if you're curious about humectant, what else is operate on the skin like the coconut oil? You find that the hyaluronic acid does the same thing. Did you know you could put a little um, coconut oil in your hyaluronic acid serum and use it on the skin? And there's something else that you could put in it, which is also a humectant. And let me grab the um, hyaluronic acids. This is it right here. Yes, if you do not have a moisturizer or if you just want to use this hyaluronic acid on your knees, your elbows, all a little dry, your hands get tend to get dry on the regular, then you can grab the hyaluronic acid serum because they are both humectant. They both have to lock the moisture in the skin. And that is the hyaluronic acid serum right there. And now I'm gonna reach for my coconut oil and I'm putting about three drops of the coconut oil and take a look at this and it feels so good. Take a look at that. Do you see what you're seeing right there? Now I can swear for the Chichi Beauty hyaluronic acid serum, okay? And just mix both together. Use it on your knees, your elbows, lock that moisture in the skin and still give you all that nutrients that you need. If you have really dry skin and knees, elbows and hands like I do, that is your trick right there. If you like, you work um, where you're constantly washing your hands and you have that hand cream, it doesn't matter what hand cream you have, go ahead and walk around with your coconut oil. When you take a little bit of your hand cream, and I'm just gonna put a little cream right here in my hands like this. You put a little bit of your hand cream, go ahead and take that coconut oil. What you're gonna find is that your hands is gonna keep hydrated for longer than if you use just the oil. And I also suggest that you do that with your body lotion. Just take a little bit of that coconut oil and just put it in that body lotion this time of the year. If you're watching from somewhere where it's very, very cold, then you know what I'm talking about, okay? You know what I'm talking about. I'm just giving you recipes and remedies that you can use to keep your skin you know, from drying out. So this is why the coconut oil is your go-to. So if you get your coconut oil at home, this, and this coconut oil is $14, probably we shouldn't even be talking so much about it, to be honest. We don't have much coconut oil to go around. And there's that little bird, it seems like he's walking out outside. Sunny? Oh, yes, he's outside walking around. So let me get off the coconut oil right now because, as I said, we really do not have much left. So if you want that five-piece 
go ahead and grab it because we're almost all but yes that's what you do with the coconut oil. Now, if you are, you know, getting on in age, you can also do the same thing with your um, pomegranate seed oil. Now, I like to use a pomegranate seed oil on my skin when I use my collagen cream. So I try to use my pomegranate seed oil more so in the daytime. Now, you can use oil on your skin anytime you want. Sometimes I come on the show, guys, and you look at my face and I'm just like glowing, 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 glowing. There's just a little trick. Like right now, I just put a little bit of oil over my skin and I kind of just rush and put a little bit of makeup on at you know certain areas but i normally just grab my collagen cream and let me see if i could find the collagen cream so yes um in the daytime you do not need a lot of oil on the skin but the collagen cream is not oily at all and when i want that flush when i want that glow on my skin i reach for the collagen of course i put my serum on and this time of the year i'm using more Sunny, you cannot come in right now. And this time of the year, I'm using, no, I still let you in. Don't worry. So this is the collagen cream. Yes, and you do understand what I'm saying. So I would use my collagen cream and I don't mix it, okay? I just put the collagen cream on my skin and press it in like that. And then once I put my collagen cream on, then I would go back in and take a drop of the pomegranate seed oil not a lot one two drops don't overdo other than that your face is going to be oily and you're not going to defeat the purpose you're looking for glow and for those of you who don't wear makeup this is your go-to when you're going out okay your go-to just two drops warm it up and you're not rubbing it in the skin you're just pressing it on the skin like this bouncing it off the skin and then when you look you're gonna get that glow that's what they do when they're selling you oh you have that glass like skin and look at that you get that glow you get a cheek going on and you just look a flush you look like you spend the entire day in the spa i like to do this with my pomegranate seed oil and then when you're done you can still go ahead and spritz on some setting spray or spritz on your toner over and under and you are good to go people just look at you and see that natural glow on the skin loving 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 the pomegranate seed oil so if you have not tried our pomegranate seed oil and it's also organic okay our pomegranate seed oil is organic is a good time to stock up stock up because we are running low on these oils and i'm being honest with you and that's why we haven't been talking much about the oils because we realize we're not going to get back um the oils until way into next year okay we're cannot we're not going to be able to restock until way into next year so limited and i'm trying to tell you like the coconut the papaya is when i say limited i mean very very limited so if you want to grab them grab them now because you know what i noticed and why i'm doing a show right now and i feel like i'm mostly doing this show for my subscribers i kind of find that there's a trend and i didn't know you know i'm new to this um whole you know you know you know um what we have going on i'm pretty new to it we're just one year in and i just found that it's for the past i would say for the past a three or four weeks is like the oils are just going like that they're just going like that and then i was like oh i wonder why we're selling so much oil like like we're really selling oils then i realized that the weather change and more people tend to use oils at this time of the year than any other time so i am just learning and your girl wasn't thinking that so we end up being low in stock when it comes on to oils so now you know we're trying to get our supply in and we know we realize we ain't gonna get it till way into like march or so so if you're looking for the chichi beauty oils guys go ahead and try to grab what you can grab right now because as i said when it comes down to some of these oils we're gonna have to pull some of them pretty pretty sooner than we anticipated that we were gonna pull them now claudia that's what i do with my oil blend get that glow yes definitely get that glow and your glow is not a shiny i've been putting um, x amount of oil on my skin right now because i am demonstrating but i would just do one or two drops 
three drops is too much on the skin, okay? Three drops is too much. And that is why one bottle of this oil will last you a long time. And our oils of a five year or four years, three years a shelf life. So one bottle of these will last you a long time. So, you know, go ahead and use it in other areas. Use it on your face, use it in your hair, use it on your feet, use it in your body lotion. Now, how many of you drop a little bit of an oil how many of you take baths? I know most people do showers. And some people do shower, not because, especially if you live in New York, some people do shower not because they don't like baths, but because that's what they have. They have a shower. Now, I like a good bath, okay? I really like bath, but I'm a shower girl. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I would definitely be taking more shower than bot. I have a bot at home. It's a small bot. I don't like a small bot. I like a big old bot. So I hardly really take a bot. But like, you know, if I go elsewhere where they have a nice bot tub and I, you know, do the little bleaching thing. Yes, I'm crazy like that. How many of you like, like anyway, I don't want you all to know that aside of me. But if I go to like a hotel and they have like a jacuzzi tub or a bot there, I'm not the girl that is going to just go turn the shower on and pull that bot and just jump in it. No, 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 no. I got to walk with the bleach or go find somewhere where I can find a bottle of bleach and I have to bleach that thing out. Yes, I, I that's me if I want to use it. And then I would hot water it out before I really could, you know, indulge in that. But yes, the shower, shower, shower. But if you take bath, whenever you're going to do so, drop a little bit of your oil in your bath. Just put it under the running water. It doesn't matter which one, whether you're using the pomegranate, the papaya, the apricot, it doesn't matter because that also is going to, when you finish taking your bath, you come out, it's going to make your skin be hydrated. How much? Is, well, they do have bath oils. Don't get me wrong. They have bath oils that you can purchase to put in your bathtub. But if you don't have bath oils, you can use these oil also. And all you need is like a full dropper and a half, and that is going to help and you go in with you know the other stuff that you use in the shower so in the top so don't just think that these oils are just for your face and also if you have like dry cuticles like i do definitely go ahead i use a rosemary essential oil mix with the coconut oil on my cuticles another thing too is the this time of the year depending on where you live like if you live like in winnipeg and places like that new york also you're gonna find that your lips are drying out how many of you remember my lip balm? I actually used to make my own lip balm and I have the recipe on the channel page. I think I need to make some more for myself because I'm going to be honest with you, it's the best lip balm that I've ever used. And I'm not trying to say, oh, it's because I make it myself, blah, 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 blah. No, it's really next to um, this little blue jar of Blistex that I tend to use on my lips my lip balm was right there with it, okay? So if I was to compare it with anything else, the way it actually helps my lip drew in the winter months was that little blistex. And I use, um, um, I use um, um, bee wax. I use the bee wax to make it. And I just melt the bee wax. I grate the bee wax. And then I load it up with my favorite oil. I put a little bit of a peppermint in it. The video is somewhere on my channel page. I should look it up and recircle that video this time of the year. And I was so amazed of how much it helped my lips. So I need to make some more for myself now that I remember that I used to do it. I just need to get some fresh bee wax. So that's another thing that you can do if you're like in the mood, you can make your own lip balm. Another thing that I did put in my lip balm was some beets because I wanted to have that's like a little tint to the lips. So I put a little bit of the beet in it beet you know beet root that is for the stain on my lips and that's that's an old recipe i definitely need to look for it because i'm gonna make some new ones and that is what i use so get your favorite oil pour it in it in the bee wax melt up that wax pour that oil in it put a little peppermint because it's your lips and mom, mom, mom. a little bit of that beetroot and you have your own lip balm it's gonna set 
after because of the B walks is set right after within an hour. So it's really hard as a regular lip balm. Now, those days I used to just put it in a jar, but nowadays I find that you can go on places like Amazon and stuff like that. And you can actually find the lipstick um case that you can actually pour stuff in and set it right in there so then you'd have your own little lip gloss going those were the days when i make really really good lip balm and i'm gonna go back to it claudia i use a chichi oil blend at night on my lips every night so this is what i'm telling you guys the lips the lips if they dry out if you live somewhere where it's really really dry make that oil if you're just joining hi melissa welcome to the live show and for those of you who are watching, I totally forget this all the time. For those of you who are watching while the show is over, don't forget to use your discount code, which is holidays, and you can get 25% um, off when you shop on alexmaxi.com. We're talking about oils tonight because this is the time of the year that you need to use up your oils. Not only that, because we're so low on oils, we're trying to make the subscribers like grab what we have before we are sold out not that i don't appreciate my customers for a say but because i always feel like you guys need a special attention because you're the one who actually create this whole um chichi beauty skincare line here is the papaya oil and um, marita was the first person that introduced me to papaya oil i used to use a lot of papaya in my diy i use a papaya mask papaya serum and that's how we um our papaya serum right here for people who are new to our channel you might not know that i make a very mean mean in a good way papaya serum on my channel like years ago and i was like oh my goodness i need to make this serum and put it in a jar some of you might not remember people like jill magdalene and all and might remember those days when i used to be like oh i want to put this papaya serum in a jar and that is why there's no way we was going to have a serum collection without having a papaya serum and papaya serum papaya facial moisturizer we was going all out with papaya because i personally love using the papaya on my skin so i was like one day there's one thing that i wish that they have and i so wish that they have papaya oil papaya seed oil and it was marita who texted me after the show and she was like Gigi, you know they do have it I saw it on Amazon and I was like, oh, really now? So I ran over there and lo and behold, they did have the papaya um, seed oil and I started purchasing it. For years, four or five years, I was using um, their papaya seed oil. And when we decided that we were going to have the Chichi Beauty oil collection, then you know that I definitely have to have my own papaya seed oil now it kind of take me a little while because i want to make sure it was organic and i also want to make sure that it is pure and i also want to make sure that my papaya oil is from the seed the kernel of the papaya seed and you know the process and all of that till eventually we got it done now i have someone that really mess up my um my label like you know you get help and my label was supposed to label papaya seed oil not just papaya oil okay so and I'll explain that to you, but you know, you don't come and you hear your dirty business out in public. So our oil just say papaya oil, but it is actually papaya seed oil. And I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, use this rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. And take a look, we have the papaya serum. Now this papaya serum, our papaya serum, I am yet to find a bad review. And I know most of you watching right now is our, you know, diarrhea subscriber. The one bad review that we get on both the papaya serum and the avocado serum is nothing to do with the serum. Everyone and every single, the thousand of people that purchased the papaya and the avocado serum said they love the papaya and the avocado serum. The one issue that we have is the pump. 
the pump. A lot of people struggle with the pump that some people get some good pumps and some people don't get the good ones because when you try to pump it up, it's like the suction is not there. So our next batch, this is the second batch that we're on, but our next batch, we're not going to do the pump because yes, let's face it, it's a little thicker form of a serum. And this time of the year, guys, grab the papaya serum. We don't have a lot either. The papaya and the avocado very limited so if you want to get those grab those we're definitely coming back with i don't have a bottle here to show you the type of a pump that we are okay this is it right here so this is the pump that we're going to put the papaya serum and the avocado serum this is the the turmeric serum and you know the turmeric serum is more of a gel this is a thicker one but we're going to use this kind of a pump that you just press down and pump for the papaya serum so we don't have this issue although i know a lot of us like you know to just squeeze it up like that but we get a, a really bad setup um cover right here so that's the only issues that we find with the papaya serum not the content not the content not the content and i myself like the other day i went somewhere and i think i shared this with you and i didn't want to use their lotion because you know i didn't like the way it looked yeah, so definitely, please put it in a pump bottle. Yes, that's what we're going to do with this because I know a lot of people complain about the pump. And I went out and I didn't want to use their raggedy looking lotion. The lotion just didn't look right to me um, in the hotel. And this is what I use all over my body. I use my papaya serum. Now, I know this is an expensive gesture to be using the papaya serum all over the body, but it was good and I, I love it. So if you go somewhere and you run out a lotion and you have the papaya serum, if you can, because I know some people are very, very particular with their serum. They don't, one little drop, they're not gonna you know, use it all over the body, but it is good. Another thing too, guys, when you have these little bottles, like the papaya serum and the avocado serum bottles, when you get them and they're done, especially if you're like the type of person that travel a lot, you go to the gym, you always have dry hands and stuff like that. You keep these little bottles and you pour your little oil in them and you could travel with these little bottles with your oil because you cannot travel with these big bottles, okay? They're going to take it away from you and you'll always be looking out for these little bottles that can, you know, go anywhere you want to go with them so yes the papaya and the avocado serum and those are also two other serums that are really really taking off this time of the year because they really hydrate the skin and that is what you need to do so you apply your facial toner you apply your serum you apply your moisturizer and one to two drops of the oils when you're making your oil blend start your oil blend with a carrier oil a carrier oil is like the grapeseed oil or the coconut oil or even the aloe vera oil have anyone been using this aloe vera oil i love me this aloe vera oil let me show you something about this aloe vera oil and this is another oil that you don't sleep on this is another oil that you use all over your skin all over your skin you have eczema you have the itching going on how many of you sometimes you take a shower and after the shower especially this time of the year if you live somewhere where it's cold your skin start to itch if you stay in the shower too long the aloe vera oil is a very very light oil and i mostly use to be honest with you i mostly use my aloe vera oil all over my body that is it right there and i put it in that body lotion and i just lotion my entire skin with it my buttocks and all of that and it don't have any form of a mm -mm -mm, um smell like that it's a good oil reduce wrinkles and fine lines you find yourself with um pigment not pigmentation you find yourself with those little zits and stuff like that on the skin grab the aloe vera because remember it's also have antibacterial properties but it is not an essential oil and uh, this aloe vera is not an essential oil okay the essential oil is the rosemary oil and the tea tree oil however a little bit of a rosemary oil and a little bit of an aloe vera oil is good add this to in your shower another thing guys that i forget to tell you the rosemary oil and the star anise oil when you get it at home whether you have a bath or if you do the shower how many of you notice know that they now have 
those shower bombs. They call them the shower bombs. The shower bombs are some little tablets that you can, they are fragrant, whether they're eucalyptus, whether they're floral, and you can just put it on the bottom of your shower. You put your shower on, and I use them. I use them a lot. And you put your shower on, and that aroma just go up. Like that aroma just hits your nose like that, and you have the spa-like effect in your shower. They designed these a couple of years ago for people that cannot use the bot bomb because, you know, bot bomb is a thing. I love bot bomb and a lot of people love bot bomb, but if you don't have a bot, you feel like you're missing out. So they make those shower bomb and you just drop it in the shower. Now, if you do not have those shower bomb, and I'm going to tell you, those shower bomb just disappear like so fast. What I personally do, I use the rosemary and my star anise. What I do, I just uh, full the dropper like this, like I would just full the dropper and I would just splash it all over the floor of the shower. And then I go in and you get that same effect. As a matter of fact, and I'm going to be honest with you, stronger than those flower shower bomb stronger than those the strongest form of a shower bomb i've seen is like if you have those eucalyptus ones which maybe because i'm biased i like me a good eucalyptus scent so splash these in your shower and get that experience have you walked in the spa and smell these nice um these nice essential oils like you know just mm, giving you that relaxation you can turn your shower it doesn't matter how small your bathroom is you live in new york where it's just a little space you can turn that into a spa all you need to do is just listen to me get the rosemary the star anise one full drop because they smell good splash it all over turn that water on that warm water gonna just send that vapor up just like those shower bomb and you are going to be like who's who's really really relax you so the two oils for that is the rosemary and the star anise those are the two that i use if you like tea tree oil you can go ahead and you can use it for those of you who um like the scent of the tea tree oil this is my personal tea tree oil i'm not a fan of the scent of tea tree oil someone told me that oh chichi your tea tree oil don't smell too bad you know but i i use the tea tree oil elsewhere i'm not going to use it in because i just don't like the smell but i like to have it and i also like to use it but i don't like the smell of it i use it because i know it is that good how many of you use things are you know do things that you know is really really good for you you do it not because and you know but you know it's good that's the only reason why that's my love affair um love age relationship with tea tree oil so you might ask me so if you don't like the smell of tea tree oil why did you put tea tree oil in your oil collection because it's necessary okay to do that tea tree oil is an oil that you all need in your oil collection i'm telling you the tea tree oil tea tree oil and i'm going to do a full video probably a five minutes video and tell you all the many ways that you can use tea tree oil you need a bottle of tea tree oil at home and that's all i'm saying to you you need a bottle of tea tree oil at home and especially if you have uh, younger kids and all of that make it even better let me give you another little hint right here that you can do with a tea tree oil now don't feel gross out because tea tree oil have antibacterial properties these have a lot of properties um for your skin but here what you can do with this tea tree oil which is what i use it for also you can take one to two drops of the tea tree oil and you're going to drop it in your toilet bowl it's going to draw out all of any form of a odor now there's a thing that you can use i totally forget the name of it i used to use it for years and years and years when you go and you take number two then you just put a little bit in the water and it you know just give the bathroom a nice a smell this take the place of it you do your number two you put one drop of this in it take away all that funky smell did you all know that did you all know that so that's another thing that you can do with tea tree oil and that's why i'm telling you all need a tea tree oil 
in your collection because there's also many other things that you can do with the tea tree oil. So that is why I was not going to leave it out. I know the value of having tea tree oil at home, okay? And a lot of people out there know about a tea tree oil, but some people are like new to it. They get the tea tree oil, they're like, oh, Chi Chi, what am I to do with the tea tree oil? Now, if I put this tea tree oil on Amazon, then it would be like gone, like gone, 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 because there's so many people out there that know what to do. If you're just joining, welcome to the live show. We are just sharing oils with you. Um, if you want some of the Chichi Beauty oil from our oil collection with the grapeseed oil, you can miss one, two, three, 10, 15 oils with the grapeseed oil, ex um, ex except the essential oil where you need to add one to two drops, okay? Just a little bit if you're mixing it with the grapeseed oil. The next oil that we have is the rosehip seed oil. Now, we use a rosehip seed oil on our channel forever. We've been using rosehip seed oil from so many different brands because it's rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. If you want to give someone oil, you don't know anything much about them, this is one oil that you can give, the rosehip seed oil, because it's good for many different things and it's loaded with antioxidant and it's an all-rounder oil. It's an all-rounder oil that anyone can use. Not only that, did you all know that oil is one thing that people with sensitive skin could use? We're not talking about essential oils now because essential oil doesn't matter what your skin type is, you need to add a carrier oil to it. But most people are not going to be um, skin is not going to get irritated from using oil on the skin. And that is why you're going to find most, well, all your skincare products that are a cream, moisturizer, and all of those, they contain oils. Oils is what is the base. And this is one good oil, which is the rosehip seed oil. Another oil that is amazing to give as a gift or give it to yourself is the pomegranate seed oil. It's not a popular oil, but it's a very essential, not essential, essential in the fact that it's good to use all over your hair, your nails, your lips, your under eyes, your groin, you know, for those of you who chafe a bit, you can use this oil right there. It's a really, really good oil. And it doesn't matter who you are, you can use the pomegranate seed oil. Next come the apricot oil. Now, this is also another oil that you can mix with all the oils that we have here. And it can be used as a carrier oil. It's good as a light oil. You mix it with your lotion, you mix it with your face moisturizer you use it all over your body now here comes and i and we i think i talk about the papaya seed oil already and here comes our two essential oil we actually have three essential oil the next one is the star alice which i don't have right here with me so these are the oils that is only one to two drops of these oil not a whole case of oil not getting these home like a lot of my followers did with that star honest oil and just put it on the face like that and then they call and they were like oh my skin is burning da, 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 da. so you know we had to put a footnote for those of you who are not accustomed to the star anise oil that you need to mix it with a carrier oil and any essential oil that you're going to use on your skin you should mix it with a carrier oil so those are my oils guys that you can pick up don't forget to use our code d so it's a good time to grab the oils the good times to grab the oils the mix and match and then if you want even more discount on these oils then you go ahead and you do the bundles we have some amazing bundles that we put together and one of the top bundle and as a matter of fact is our five oil and it is one of the best selling oil bundle we have five oils in it and we get we have the the apricot we have the rose hip, we have the star anise we have the pomegranate and we have the papaya it's um $117 but when you get your 25% off it's going to drop you down to about $90 or so for all of those oils good gift a perfect gift, a perfect gift. Now we also have those uh, three oils. So um, here is a set of three oils, and this one has the star anise, the coconut, and the papaya. Sixty-two for the three. We already discount them. That is why the price is like that. And then you're getting a further discount when you add that twenty-five 
percent to it what do you have for warts my face and neck have a lot of small ones so the what i normally recommend for warts is to try to indulge yourself in our our turmeric collection try to indulge yourself in the turmeric collection so the turmeric and let me give you like a little a quickie which you know a lot of you know that we talk about this a lot and this work you can wash your face you know like you normally do and this is our turmeric mask you can take a little of our turmeric mask just a little and if you have just a one watt somewhere you put that on the top and yes you're gonna go sleep with it you just do a little thing like that and you sleep with it but if you have um warts all over your skin try our turmeric collection it contains a facial wash it contains uh it's we have a five piece and we have an eight piece you get the facial wash, you get the facial serum, you get the facial toner, you get the facial mask. And we also have the facial polish, you get the facial cream and what else you get. So that's what you get. The, cre the, 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 the wash, the toner, the serum, the mask, the cream and also the facial polish. I'm thinking that we have something else in turmeric, but that's the feedback that we get when people use our turmeric collection, it's to get rid of the wart, the mold, the hyperpigmentation on the skin. However, maybe later on next year, we'll come up with something. Cause we get that question a lot. You know, what do we have like to remove warts? So we'll think about it. But for now, the turmeric is working for most people. Now that is my time. Don't forget, the shower gel, guys. Don't forget the shower gel. Treat yourself to a shower gel. So tonight when you're grabbing your oil, also grab a shower gel. These are $24 and they are 25% off. So you're going to get one for like $19. And it's a must try. A must try. Don't let them sell out. And then you're like, oh, I should have. Don't. And what is um 500 ml? They're not little tiny shower gel. They are perfect for your counter. You don't have to eye them away unless you have people that like to come and use your stuff out. So check out our shower gel. And don't forget to check out all the other stuff that we have on alexmaxi.com. That's my time tonight. I love you guys. I'm going to be on tomorrow night. I'm going to be on every night until Friday night. So tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm going to be here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So join me Friday. I'm, you know, have some little things up my sleeve. So tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, and come and join us and um for the, the rest of the week every night. Thank you so much for watching. Go shop alexmaxi.com. Don't forget to use the code. If you're making a gift for someone, just put a footnote and let us know that you're doing a gift and we definitely will wrap it up for you. Pack it up nicely and send it off to you. Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Share the video, like, comment, and if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. And for those of you who are watching, if you want to get in touch with me, send me an email to chichibeauty at gmail.com or go in the shop app, use the shop um, messaging thing and message me and I will respond to you. If I don't respond to you, someone else will respond to you. Thank you for watching tonight. Shopalexmaxi.com. I love you guys and I'll